Hello and welcome to another episode of A Brief History. Today's episode, Jaden Animations. Ready, set, go. Somewhere in Arizona, 2011, a teenage girl named Jaden spends a good amount of her free time playing everyone in 2011's favorite game, Minecraft. That is, until one day when her computer goes off the fritz, leaving her unable to craft that slightly better pickaxe she was working on. Distraught, Jaden takes to the internet to fill the block-shaped hole in her heart by watching Minecraft Let's Players on YouTube. And it was during one of these Minecraft video binge sessions that Jaden discovered a YouTuber by the name of I Has Cupquake who she quickly became a fan of. Fast forward a few years to around early 2014 when I Has Cupquake puts out an open call for fan art in one of her videos. Now, Jaden had always enjoyed drawing and making art, so naturally, this caught her attention. And while she didn't act on it right away, it wasn't long before Jaden had drawn and sent in her first piece of I Has Cupquake fan art. This piece was then featured in one of Cupquake's videos, which absolutely blew Jaden's mind and would be the first tipped piece in a long chain of dominoes. You see, being featured by Cupquake led Jaden to create more fan art for the channel, each piece continuing to grab the attention of Cupquake to the point where they were beginning to recognize her and her art as it came in. So later that year, when Cupquake expressed interest in having certain segments of her videos animated, Jaden felt confident enough to reach out and offer her services as a 2D animator. Publicly, on Cupquake's Facebook fan page, with almost zero animation experience. Good one, Jay, glad to see you're keeping it professional. But it worked! Having been impressed with her fan art, Cupquake brought Jaden on board to make a short animation for the channel. This video, uploaded on August 1st, 2014, was known as Terrible Mom a Minecraft Animated Short and quickly became a big hit for the channel, currently boasting over 17 million views. With Javen, Javen? Who is Javen? Who is she? <laughs> and noticing the success, Jaden and Cupquake decided to continue working together, with Jaden having created a total of eight animations for the channel between between August of 2014 and August of 2016, including a Five Nights at Freddy's animation, which has gained over 57 million views to this day. Oh, shoot! But this wasn't all that Jaden had planned for her burgeoning YouTube career. For a few months prior to all this Cupquake hoopla, on February 16th, 2014, Jaden launched her own YouTube channel, Jaden Animations. However, Jaden didn't upload anything to this channel until July 23rd of the same year, when she put up her very first YouTube video, a short animated introduction video. You know the one, the one that she recorded on a toaster? Wait, that's canon, right? The, the toaster audio that actually happened? I hope so. Anyway, on this channel, Jaden made speed art videos, Q&As, and even a couple of videos of her playing piano. But the true main attraction of the Jaden Animations channel were, of course, her animations. I mean, she called herself Jaden Animations for a reason. It's not like that's her birth name. Or is it? Or is it? Or is it? You'll never know. <laughs> Similar in style to the videos of Domix and Swoozy, Jaden's videos mix together the storytelling and humor of a traditional video blog with the presentation of an animated sketch. Most of her videos focus on anecdotal stories detailing embarrassing, awkward, or just generally insane stories from throughout her life, complete with amazing titles such as How to Be Stupid, Frozen Yogurt Freakout, I'm Too Awkward for My Own Good, and of course, Hide and Pee. It's very serious work they do over at Jaden Animations. Jaden continued making these videos as regularly as she could, she was still a student after all, and eventually she began to build a sizable audience, garnering around 150,000 subscribers by January of 2016. But this is where things get interesting. On YouTube, channels that get large amounts of promotion typically fit in a certain set of guidelines known as the YouTube algorithm. And in recent years, the algorithm has been optimized to benefit those who can create more long-form content on a daily basis that can incentivize long-term viewing sessions. Things like Rhett and Link's Good Mythical Morning and most Let's Play gaming channels fit into these categories. And then we have YouTubers like Jaden. Jaden makes really entertaining and well-made content, but the intense workload of animation means that she can only manage about one new animation every couple of weeks. It also means that hitting that coveted 10-minute video length is a pretty daunting task. Not impossible, but it's a lot of work. So animated content and the current YouTube algorithm don't really mix. And yet, around April or May of 2016, Jaden animations just freaking blew up. Over the course of only one year, Year, Jaden's channel has grown from 150,000 subscribers to over 1.4 million subscribers. That's nearly 10 times as many subs as she had at the start of 2016. And not only that, but pretty much every one of her uploads are currently averaging around 2 million views. But Jaden isn't the only YouTube animator who has been experiencing rapid growth like this. Her friend and frequent collaborator, The Odd Ones Out, went through a very similar spike in viewership only a couple months prior. And I can't help but feel like that could be the sign of a trend. In a time where it seems like 
everyone is obsessed with playing to the YouTube algorithm, the fact that two channels have found massive success in YouTube animation, a genre that has kind of been considered dead on arrival in recent years, all within the same time frame could possibly be the sign of some form of second coming of YouTube animation, opening the doors for aspiring animators to one day make an honest living following their dreams on YouTube. Or maybe not. I don't know. Enough of this YouTube jargon, let's get back to Jaden. Jaden Animations is, honestly, one of the most pure YouTube channels I've ever covered. Her origins lie simply in wanting to express her love and appreciation to someone who inspired her, and her rise to popularity seems to have defied YouTube trends, clearly connecting with a large audience based solely on the content itself. And looking forward, Jaden simply aims to continue doing what she's doing now, ever aware of the fact that the people who look up to her now are in the exact same position she was in a mere two or three years years ago, and all she wishes to do is provide the same kind of solace and positivity to her viewers that she found in her favorite YouTubers when she was younger. And considering the fact that she's only been a full-time YouTuber for about a year, I think it's safe to say that Jaden has a long and exciting future ahead of her here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. DFTBA. Hello, it's Jaden. Thanks a bunch for watching the video. Huge thanks to Ryder for making it. He said so many nice things, and I didn't even have to pay him to say any of them. I hope you enjoyed it too, and I actually just posted a new video as well, so I mean, you can check that out if you want. But definitely thanks to Ryder for putting this together. Watch all of his videos, he's super cool. We've been friends for a while, and yeah. Also, he's the one who asked what the point of Pink Lemonade is in my Stupid Lies video, so that's funny. DFP- DFP debate 8. <laughs> DFTBA, uh, see you later. <laughs> yeah, bye.